Well, on Sunday, the Biden administration announced that it will block future oil and gas leasing in the Arctic Ocean's federal waters. But yesterday, the White House approved the Alaska Willow Project. Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and other top Democrats gave a joint statement uh, on the news, writing, This administration clearly knows what the path to a cleaner and more just future looks like. We wish they had not chosen to stray so far from the path. The only acceptable Willow project is no Willow project. Joining me now is, for all the hot topics all morning long, is Michael Lee and Joe Concha. Uh, Joe, your reaction, uh, as we see the uh, energy sector continue to soar in the face of weakness elsewhere. And we just saw the, the president of the United States as a candidate uh, lie to that teenage girl about all the things he said he wasn't going to do, and now he is doing it, particularly when it comes to drilling in Alaska. This is a president, Maria, and I've written a whole book about it, that does things strictly for his own survival and his own political expediency. So when he needed to be elected and needed to go to the left to make sure he bought in all the squad, AOC, far-left progressives into his court because they didn't quite trust him, uh, now we see that, okay, he's going back to drilling in places like Alaska. Maybe we're going to hear something about the Keystone Pipeline uh, before this election in 2024 as far as reopening that extension and that construction. Uh, this is a president that you simply have to judge on his actions and not on his words. And I guess the good news is that we will be drilling more now on domestic lands, which hopefully could bring down the cost of gas and oil. Uh, but again, it depends on where the wind is blowing in terms of how this president makes his decisions and what will benefit him most. That's the bottom line, Maria. Well, I mean, that's the thing. We see that he makes decisions based on elections and, you know, says things just based on holding on to power. Uh, our energy secretary, Jennifer Granholm, claims we should learn from China when it comes to energy. Uh, the Energy Pollution. Department has proposed, yeah, new efficiency standards with washing machines. They are requiring washing machines to use less water. They claim that's going to combat climate change. But manufacturers like Whirlpool are warning that the proposal would make each cycle longer. Uh, it'll make detergent costlier, and it'll make the clothes less clean. Michael? Uh, Maria, this is uh, the perfect metaphor for the entire administration. Uh, it, it's built upon a lie that somehow we're in, in this climate crisis. Okay, over the last hundred years, uh, deaths due to climate-related accidents and disasters is down 98 percent. Yep, yet somehow. It's an existential threat. I mean, it, their energy policy and the insanity of it uh, is causing disasters everywhere, not only from the inflation, which I believe led to the failure of Silicon Valley Bank and the bank runs we're seeing across America, okay, as well as the war with Russia. Okay, the only way to combat Russia against Ukraine is to collapse the price of oil and natural gas. This administration would much rather give in to these green whack jobs than to solve actual problems. And and improve the lives of Americans, okay? It is beyond insane, uh, the things that they've done and hearing uh, that you've got to change your washing machine because it might use a little, little less water for this cycle or for that cycle. It's more of the same insanity that's ruining our country right in front of our eyes. And, and this is likely the root cause of the failure of this president and this administration, the climate change agenda, because it has so many levers. It has so much impact, most importantly, the impact on national security, because we are not energy independent. That, I would say, Joe, is the root cause of this president's failure. Absolutely. National security when it comes to energy, to your point, Maria, national security in terms of a conversation you just had regarding the U.S. southern border and more yeah. than 100 people that have crossed into this country that are on the terror watch list. And those right. are the ones that we caught. Remember all the hundreds of thousands of, of gotaways. Right. I, I hope that we're not talking in two years, that looking back, saying, oh, all the signs were there and we didn't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a whole ball of wrong, Maria. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back with a lot more right here. Stay